Camp Christmas. Yes, Melissa, Christmas Eve is always so exciting. And we've rented this log cabin for the perfect dream vacation. And we're going to have a lovely, traditional Christmas, just the kind like I read in my family circle. <laughs> <laughs> just us and a few of our very special friends. All prepared? Have you been gathering your winter fuel? Yes, I've got a couple of pine cones to make Christmas decorations out of. Oh, good. Yes, it's going to be just like the Christmases I remember back in Kansas, where I grew up, where we used to sleep under the tree and wait for Santa Claus to come. And you know what? We never saw Santa Claus. But in the morning, we'd wake up and there'd be tons of presents. And we'd get up and we'd have turkey and we'd have mashed potatoes and pecan pie. And well, where did you spend your Christmases? Peterborough. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll recapture all of that magic, shall we? Why don't you come in and share the fun? How are you doing? How you like the tree? Oh, it's not bad for a footballer. <laughs> where's Derek? Yeah, where's Derek and Simon? Simon. Oh, 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 behind you. Woo! Making crackers. Crackers and prison. We are Look, crackers. Jokes for the crackers. <laughs> jokes for the crackers. Have you heard about the gay pope, who was simply divine? <laughs> How many gay men does it take to change a light bulb? Don't let's talk about the light bulb, honey. Let's talk about the shade. <laughs> What's the worst present you can give a lesbian for Christmas? I don't know. Martina's phone number with one digit wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, don't do that. 
It, it's a gas fire, not a real one. <laughs> You'll block up my chute. <laughs> and, and which of Santa's reindeer are, uh, were you? Oh, well, my name's Whitney. <laughs> and I'm the provocative one. <laughs> too gorgeous to stay in line, too dangerous for the image of the firm. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was thrown out because the jingle of my nipple clumps interfered with the sleigh bells. <laughs> So here I am, keeping a rather glassy eye on things. Mm. That's a job, I suppose. Hello, log cabin. Yeah, hi guys. I'm calling to uh, wish you Merry Christmas. Oh, wow. Marcelina, how are you? I'm just great, thank you. I wish I were there, but I couldn't make it. I'm uh, busy skiing here in Aspen. Sorry. Oh, thanks for the presents, Marcelina. Yeah, I hope you like them. I took a lot of time to pick him out, so I hope you enjoy him. So what are you doing now? Well, I'm skiing and I'm fixing up my tree. Uh, it doesn't look so hot right now, but hopefully by the evening it's going to look smashing. Oh, I hope you have a really good Christmas and hope to see you next year. Okay, thanks. Have a great one. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Presents! Here they are. This for you. Presents exactly like I had in Kansas. You know, Mom and Dad used to dress up as Santa Claus and everything. Look! <laughs> freedom rings. Fantastic. Oh. I think that'll be the caterers. <laughs> Savage catering. <laughs> You'll remember us in the morning. Watch out for the salmonella mousse. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, what a nut. Oh. What a bone and latte, dear. <laughs> oh, my God. Little house on the prairie. Look at it. <laughs> right, what's in your trolley, Polly? Well, this little something we made earlier, dear. <laughs> oh, daughter. Come on, let's have the cling film off these. Hang on to it, though, in case it's an orgy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they're going to notice that you dropped them, Polly? <laughs> no, not there. Oh, oh, eat your heart out. Oh, you are sloppy. This man makes my nipples go like footballs. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> now, anyway, don't be worrying about the food. They're Americans, aren't they? You know what, Yanks are like, they'll eat anything. Just slap a bit of tomato. I know. <laughs> you all right? Everything okay? Yes, dear. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Thank dear. You. Yes, Lovely. Good evening, oh, Merry Christmas, Good evening, sir. Yes. Did you manage to get the stove working? Uh, well, we are, are familiar with electrical and gas appliances, thank you. She knows all about appliances. She's got a catalogue. What? <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Thank thank you, sir. Sir. Yes, thank, thank you, you dear. Sir. Well, I do love a volivant, dear, don't you? I think I've got time to mess around an hour because we've got other things for me. Good <laughs> girl. What's here? Let's give them ulcers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Whitney the reindeer. What or who are you? I'm Leah the warrior. Sounds more like a magic mushroom. I don't have to take that from a dog with a thyroid truck. How can we be eat your heart out? You're so butch, dear. No. You don't call me Big Dyke for nothing. Oh. There, 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 Bambi. Would you like one of these little volivants or is your jaw wired up? Well, yes, but not to stop me eating. I don't believe this, Polly. I'm talking to a hat stand. <laughs> it is so nice to be with friends for the holidays. It's so good to see you, yes. But, Leah, won't you miss your family at Christmas? Family? Pear, don't you know? At your parents' house, no one can hear you scream. <laughs> Are you kidding? That's why I'm going to give myself the greatest Christmas present a person can give. I am not going home for the holidays. <laughs> That's right, no, I'm not going home for the hetero fest, the big gathering of the guineas that are always at my house. Because let me tell you, when we have Christmas, we have Christmas! You know, and the whole family is there, Andy. The whole entire family is there. And who's always there? We're Italians, right? So who's there? The little old Italian aunts. Tiny little aunties. 90-year-old <laughs> women that stand about this tall because Italian women never die. They just shrink out of existence. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. 
They just get smaller and smaller. I've got two of them, Sophie and Vincenza. They're like little auntie bookends, you know? They stand there, they're both the same woman, basically. They have the same black scarf, right? On their head, same black dress. They can do a rosary in five seconds flat, these women, okay? Right? And they know that they are fascinated by me, fascinated by me. Whenever I come home, they follow me around, wherever I go. They speak no English except for one word, one sentence, which they utter at me constantly. So when are you gonna get married? When are you gonna get married? When are you gonna get married? Oh, probably when I stop eating pussy. <laughs> so that's it. I am not, not, not going home. Not at all. Not at all. Because I'll tell you why. Because I'll tell you why. <laughs> Honestly, it is very hard to be queer and Italian. See? Yeah. Because Italians, with very little exception, are raised Catholic. Ha! Huh. And Catholics believe and they base their entire faith on this one single belief that if you ignore something, <laughs> it will go away. <laughs> it will disappear. It will go away. Take the Pope, Pope John Paul II, right? The traveling Pope. He's been everywhere but the realm of reality. Okay? <laughs> so, right? Paul says, did you hear this? It's okay to be a homosexual as long as you don't participate in homosexual acts. Which is great with me because I think it's okay to be Catholic as long as you don't participate in homosexual <laughs> So I'll never forget when I came out. When I came out to my parents, I did the good gay thing. Total gay thing. Mom, Dad, I'm gay. Right? And they did the good Italian thing. Screaming, fighting, yelling, throwing things, and then they forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, we had to do the whole thing again. I'd come home, they'd have strange men sitting at the kitchen table, right? Seriously, they'd be like, Leah. <laughs> Meet Bob Bell. I'd be like, who the heck is Bob Bell? Mom, remember that conversation we had like a month ago? You threw the dinette through the window? Remember that conversation? Right? And finally, I'd have to get rid of these guys, right? So finally, I walked up to this guy, and I said, look, Bob Bell, I am not interested in you. And it's not that I don't like penises, I just don't like them on men. <laughs> so no, I'm not going home for the holidays. I'm spending it with my friends and... Presents! I have some others, but I just wanted to give these to you now because Thank I know you. you're just gonna love them. Merry Christmas, Andy. Thank you. Merry Christmas. I'm gonna put these others right under the tree. <laughs> the Queen's Christmas speech on Christmas Eve. Haven't you heard of cable? <laughs> I am speaking to you all today via the modern marvel of electric television. Whether you are at home, abroad, or in ships at sea. <laughs> As you all know, this year marks 40 years since I won this pageant when I was tired and given a sash for my interest in horse riding, traveling, and meeting people. <laughs> I believe the chief difference between then and now is that in 1953, a man named Hillary climbed his way to the top, whereas in 93, a woman named Hillary has done the same, with a cheerful assistant ever at her side. In this time, I have dined with kings, lunched with presidents, picked nervously at my plate with New Guinea Highland headhunters, <laughs> and I have spoken in English with President Ronald Reagan at his retreat, Camp David. Tonight, though, I am most delighted to participate in this Camp Christmas. I am very happy to patronize you all. <laughs> Queens have always patronized the arts, and the arts have always relied upon the support of queens. <laughs> Christmas is a time for hope for the future and good cheer. When we remember those absent, as well as those of you watching this special broadcast with Andy and Melissa at the lodge. At home in these islands, much has changed in 40 years. What has not changed is the people's loyalty and warmth of affection. So different from Cyprus, Germany, Australia, which I'm told is developing as a whole that it is. 
is developing as a whole. That it is already progressing is undoubted since its discovery in the 1970s by Thomas Cook. You may find it surprising that one is not particularly disheartened by their recent discussion about becoming a Republican. <laughs> so hard. For what I shall be most disappointed about is that I normally pick up 40,000 points on the Qantas frequent flyer program. <laughs> I leave you with my new party piece, which I shall be performing for my whole family tomorrow on Christmas Day. Annis Horribilis, Wans Bamia, Amos Conucenti. Don't you think it's queer? Sid <laughs> Angelus Angli, though the choir boy hummeth. Nullus comprehendi, I feel quite numbeth. <laughs> Magus superfluous, our cup overrunneth. Hailus a taxi bus, the tax man cometh. <laughs> Media interruptus, the dirty tricks game. Coitus extra maritas, blackens one's name. <laughs> Camilla Fuchs intercit. They meet on the hunt. Infer et tampax. To be perfectly blunt. <laughs> Telephonus mobile. Give us a ring. Breast them, compress them. Press the tit thing. <laughs> Exodus old timers. 93 out the door. Campus Christmas. Where else? Channel 4. <laughs> May God bless you all. I guess I'm not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> How about a song? Would you like to hear a nice Christmas song? Yeah. Uh, about Santa Claus, maybe? Oh, yeah. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming. To town. I tell you, he's making a list. He's checking it twice. And he's gonna find out who's naughty or nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. Well, he sees you when you're sleeping. He knows if you're awake He knows if you've been bad or good huh. You better be good for goodness sake You better watch out, you better not cry You better not pout, I'm telling you why Santa Claus is coming to town Oh, Santa Claus is coming to town Santa Claus To Travel business is large. Take me to the Emerald City, down yellow brick roads fast I run. Scarecrow friends will dance beside me, Tim Toy Brothers, bright as sun. Take me to the Emerald City, wizards will give us lemonade. It's a land of pleasures plenty, ruby roses never fade. Children gather fragile flowers, stars will sing a lullaby. You're an angel. 
angels fly forever, living life behind the sky. Take me to the Emerald City, wizards will give us lemonade. It's a land of pleasures pretty, ruby roses never fade. Rivers flow through jungles tall Witches watch through magic mirrors Frosted fog covers crystal balls Take me to the Emerald City Wizards will give us lemonade It's a land of pleasures pretty Ruby roses never fade it's a land of pleasures pretty, ruby roses never fade. Hey, watch carefully. Okay. What's that one? Ten of hearts. And what's that one? Ten of spades. Okay, look away. Because he's got to look away to make it work. Okay, you can look now. You look now. Oh, look now. Sorry. Okay. Ten of spades. In this pocket, yeah? Okay. Ten of hearts. Okay. Now, what's in this pocket? Ten of hearts. What's in this pocket? Ten of spades. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I didn't think you'd do it. I didn't think you'd do it. Look, now, look, I found this, this, there's, a, there's a poll in the, in the Times, a Murray poll about Christmas, and in it it says that 66% of people drink alcohol at Christmas, 79% of people watch television, which means there's 23% of people in Britain last year who watched the Paul Daniels magic special Ooh. Sober. <laughs> Melissa, it's Armistead. Hi, Melissa. Hi, where are you? Why aren't you here? Oh, we're in San Francisco. We're kind of holed up here for the holidays. I've been reading to Terry from A Christmas Carol. It's kind of an annual tradition with us. We've done it for the past six years. Seven. <laughs> Terry's not exactly into it. Oh, well, I'd love to hear it. You would. Oh, okay, well, um, shall I put it on speakerphone? Please. Hang on. Once upon a time, of all the good days in the year on Christmas Eve, old Scrooge sat busy in his counting house. It was cold, bleak, biting weather, and he could hear the people in the court outside go wheezing up and down, beating their hands upon their breasts and stamping their feet upon the pavement stones to warm them. The city clocks had only just gone three, but it was quite dark already. It had not been light all day and candles were flaring in the windows of the neighboring offices. to deflate any of Mr. Morphin's boundless enthusiasm, <laughs> but I've done all I can for Mr. Claus. <laughs> Jollity seems to be something for which I do not have a flair. A paper hat does not suit me. The fundamental truth is that people who are by nature content have no need of festivity. But that's not all. The 25th of December is the date of my birth, an event which by no means calls for celebration. <laughs> and even that's not all. When I was a child, I never believed in Santa. I never believed in all that false 
friendliness which he provoked among members of a family none of whom liked one another. <laughs> a few days before Christmas, my father gave me half a crown with which to buy a present for my mother, and my mother gave me a slightly larger sum to buy something for my father, and on Christmas Day they both thanked me. <laughs> Who did they think they were kidding? <laughs> In England, Christmas is a reason for stopping work. Not that the English are necessarily lazy, but because they hate their employer. <laughs> well, I am not a businessman. I do not work, I do not earn money, and I do not spend money. So I try to go on at Christmas as though nothing unpleasant had happened. And so, as Tiny Tim observed, God bless us, everyone. Oh, I'm back. Good night. Hey, Gray, the guests have arrived from Armistead. Thank you. Thank you. Another one there. Oh, thank you. What's this then? Some sort of religious cult. No, these are freedom rings. They started in San Francisco. They're for gay pride. They, uh, they're the colors of the rainbow. Here, here. How creative. Whatever will the gay community think of next? <laughs> Dungarees, perhaps? <laughs> Sandwiches. Yes, yes, yes. There's salmon, love, tuna, and there's a bit of venison there, if you like. Oh, sorry, Bambi. <laughs> More than welcome. Thank you for those, darling. Yeah. Are you sure, yeah. Flower? Yeah. Okay, I'll do you a bit of cake later. Yeah. <laughs> Sandwich, sir. There's a Peggy Lang there with the Queen Sandwich. Mother at the thing. Hey, hey, and she hey. says, well, it's not what it is, mate. Because there aren't any. Because there aren't any. Uh, uh, there aren't any. Uh, uh, oh, uh, well, do you want us to have some more? Sure. Do you know? Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Make your old side gay. What is your mess? Oh, 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 dear. Oh, give us a go. Oh, oh quick. Oh, oh, my God. Oh. Let me through. I'm a caterer. I'm a caterer. <laughs> Take this man upstairs to a bedroom. Right. Chop, chop. Yes. Oh. <laughs> 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 no shortage of volunteers, I see. About eight to ten years if you don't get these bloody volumes oh. in, I'm telling you. There's something very odd about this party. Where's the amyl nitrate, for one thing? <laughs> well, wrap me in a coat dress and call me Oprah. Pam, is that you? <laughs> now, there's an outfit we wouldn't see in Farmer's Weekly. <laughs> I 
touch me at the splits. Oh no, my spits were all the rage. Until the night the woodman left his chopper on the stage. <laughs> Nobody loves a fairy when she's farting. Nobody loves a fairy when she's old. Your fairy days are ending when your wand is always bending. No one loves a fairy when she's old. Time to look at all the millions of cars we got from our three friends. <laughs> the first one is Happy Holiday from the Gay New York Men's Chorus. And here's one from Sir Ian McKellen from Hollywood. And the third one is from Pierre et Gilles in Paris. Bonjour Melissa. Bonjour Andy. Nous sommes Pierre et Gilles de Paris. Joyeux Noël. Merry Christmas. Hello. I don't know whether to wish that you were here or wish that I was there, but either way, wherever you are, I hope the sun's shining for you and that you have a wonderful day tomorrow. Happy Christmas. Dress 
dresses with blue satin sashes, snowflakes that stay on my nose and eyelashes, silver white windows that melt into spring. These are a few of my favorite things. When the dog bites, when the bee stings, when I'm feeling sad, I simply remember my favorite things. invited me down to um, give a talk. Oh, uh, what have you been television. talking about, Tony? Me. Well, it seems that um, the fact that I was in the service for 26 years caught some interest, um, having been born in Norway. Our government kicked this fine colonel out of the service. And now she's uh, spreading her story, and they're going to do a movie of her. And, and we just can't wait until she does it. Now, mm -hmm. what have you got there? Well, it's something for you. Another present. Look, it's a snow. Mind oh. you, you know, America's not that bad. You should have tried spending 14 years in Britain with Margaret Thatcher. There's a pantomime dame, if ever there was one. <laughs> what's, what's a pantomime dame? You know what's pa You're American. They don't know what panto is. It's, it's theatre, you know. It's like opera, only there's somebody from Blue Peter in it. <laughs> what's a good one? What's a Cinderella's a great one. Here's the story of Cinderella. The story of Cinderella is there's this young girl who lives with her father and her two sisters, and it's like very traditional, because it's a single parent family and the two sisters are both drag queens. Now, <laughs> and the two ugly sisters are worried because Cinder's so pretty and they're so ugly that if she goes to the ball, the handsome prince will fall in love with Cinder's rather than them. And they're right, because the handsome prince is not a prince. He's actually a woman dressed up as a man, as is his best friend Dandini. And she will fall in love with Cinders rather than the ugly sisters because they're men, Cinders is a woman, and she's a lesbian. Are you following this? <laughs> Mind you, maybe this will help. <laughs> is he? Tony, I mean. Tony Sher, that is. The Royal Shakespeare Company. <laughs> I'm really doing this as a favour to him. He asked me to play opposite him. Said he wouldn't do it if I didn't, you know. The poor love does need work. Excuse me. Um, I can't... Oh, damn. Could somebody... Could somebody please get a message to Simon Callow, please? He turned down a real cracker of a part for this. Not actually... Santa, one of his little helpers, in fact, and only understudying, but I would have got to go on for matinees. It was Selfridge's, admittedly, and not Harrod's, but, well, you can't be too choosy these days, can you? What with the Arts Council cuts and everything? Well, better try the bloody thing on. <laughs> no, thank God for Panto, I say. Keeps us all afloat. Biggins has got a lad in. Quite which lad, I cannot, of course, reveal. <laughs> Lionel's opening his buttons again at Norwich. <laughs> Still plenty up for grabs, even this late in the year. Man Friday, Baron hard up. What about Dick? <laughs> Everyone's seen your Dick. <laughs> so, really, I, I, I simply don't dare to put this lot off any longer. And, of course, it was a favour to Tony. I'm stuck. I'm trying to fit in this proper job at the same time. This is a very proper job. This is serious theatre. I've done car work before, of course. Um, experimental Swiss piece, all in mauve. Great fun. We are lilac cow. <laughs> then that big musical, the butter one, with the little bouncy ball song sheet ran forever. Step, ball, chain, kick, step, ball, chain, kick. There we are. Oh, oh, good. Thank goodness. Ah, ah, oh, ah. <laughs> um, 
Then, if there's anyone out there, just tell Simon I'm on my way. Right now. I really fancy improvising this solo, I must admit. Tony! 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 Tony Love, a word in effect, Love. I, I think you do. threesome with him once. <laughs> oh, yes, me, him and Trigger it was on the grass verge of the M25. <laughs> Happy days. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round young virgin Holy infant, so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly peace. Come on in, guys. Come on, come on. Come on in. Come on in. I want you to meet everyone. Everyone, this is E17. E17, oh this is... God. This is... This is the distinguished Colonel Hello. Camomire. Hello. Colonel Camomire. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Polly. Polly. What's Colonel order? To know who she is. She used to be the chief to daughter detective in the co-op bacon at my Christ. And what's it for an unpaid fine? Oh, daughter, daughter. Uh, Polly, I'm going to be next. Gonna get out. <laughs> what am I gonna do? What do you want me to do, dear? Oh my god. Oh look. It's him. That's what people say. Isn't that your fiance? <laughs> Shut down in my arm. I'm gonna make him change <laughs> When I'm back on top. Don't I'm let your hormones get the better of you, dear. <laughs> get away while you can. <laughs> Listen to that voice. Some people just need to get too late, like Polly. Does this old world be done? I mean, a puppet, a pauper, a pirate, a poet, a fool, and a queen. What I mean, up and down and over and out. But I know what to I guess you know what I mean. Each time I buy myself a lot on my face, Jerry, I pick myself up and get back in the rain. I can't deny it. I thought it was true, but my agent just won't buy Oh, 
mistletoe, Lily! Give us a kiss. Simon, I wouldn't kiss you under a general anaesthetic. <laughs> Who's that arriving? <laughs> oh, dear. Hello. 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 Oh. I don't know who that was out there. I think I've just been ram raided by Ken and Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> well, um. Hello, girls and uh, girls. Uh, <laughs> ho, ho. And to a large extent, ho. <laughs> um, very much my busy night of the year tonight, so I can't stay long. Uh, but I'd like to take a fag break about this time of day. <laughs> um, usually, round about this time of year, you'll catch me in my little grotto, uh, drilling my young assistants. And uh, <laughs> up in Lapland, uh, where the laps come from. Well, obviously, not the sort of laps you sit on. Um, so, Fair enough money, I suppose you could. Um, no, no, today is my day for, for, for sliding down shafts up and down the country. And uh, surprising children in that, that way I have. Um, I think everybody young at heart likes to wake up with a little bulging something to hand on Christmas morning. And I see it very much as my job. Really, to, to, to fill everybody's stockings, um, however sheer they may be. Um, but I do have a number of wishes which I've been authorised to give to anybody deserving here. Oh, Santa. Yes, darling. <laughs> I want my boys, my little baby boys, Toby and Tim, for Christmas. Ever so bad. No sooner said than done. Oh. Toby and Tim, come in here. Oh. Oh. I'd be very happy to hold your crutch for you, if that's any use. Thank you. Quite what I meant. I've got another wish, Santa. I've got another wish. Yes, all right. What I, know I'm a I know I'm a little greedy woman, <laughs> but do you think, I think we all want that, that Justin will be well and, and all better and come and join the party? Yeah. Oh, right, I yeah. suppose so. Justin, fashion yeah. victim, go on down. <laughs> Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. Next year, all our troubles will be out of sight.
Here I am, keeping a rather glassy eye on things. Well, it's a job, I suppose. Hello, log cabin. Yeah, hi guys. I'm calling to uh, wish you Merry Christmas. Oh, wow. Marcina, how are you? I'm just great, thank you. I wish I were there, but I couldn't make it. I'm uh, busy skiing here in Aspen. Sorry. Oh, thanks for the presents, Marcina. Yeah, I hope you like them. I took a lot of time to pick them out, so I hope you enjoy them. So what are you doing now? Well, I'm skiing and I'm fixing up my tree. Uh, it doesn't look so hot right now, but hopefully by the evening it's going to look smashing. Oh, I hope you have a really good Christmas and hope to see you next year. Okay, thanks. Have a great one. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Presents! Here they are. That's for you. Presents exactly like I had in Kansas. You know, Mom and Dad used to dress up as Santa Claus and everything. Look! <laughs> Freedom rings. Fantastic. Oh. I think that'll be the caterers. Savage catering? You'll remember us in the morning. Watch out for the salmonella mousse. What's a no oh, what a bone a latte, dear. <laughs> oh, my God. Little house on the prairie. Look at us. <laughs> right, what's in your trolley, Polly? Well, this little something we made earlier, dear. <laughs> oh, daughter. Come on, let's have the cling. Fire to face unafraid the plans that we made. Walking in a winter wonderland Just hear those sleigh bells jingling Ring, ting, tingling too Come on, it's lovely weather For a sleigh ride together with you Outside the snow is falling And friends are calling you Come on, it's lovely weather For a sleigh ride together with you Yes, Melissa, Christmas Eve is always so exciting. And we've rented this log cabin for the perfect dream vacation. Mm, and we're going to have a lovely, traditional Christmas, just the kind like I read in my family circle. <laughs> <laughs> just us and a few of our very special friends. All prepared? Have you been gathering your winter fuel? Yes, I've got a couple of pine cones to make Christmas decorations out of. Oh, good. Yes, it's going to be just like the Christmases I remember. Thanks, Thelma, for these. Hang on to it, though, in case it's an orgy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they're going to notice that you dropped them, Polly? <laughs> no, not, dear. Oh. oh, eat your heart out. Oh, you are sloppy. This man makes my nipples go like footballs. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> now, anyway, don't be worrying about the food. They're Americans, aren't they? You know what, Yanks are like, they'll eat anything. Just slap a bit of tomato. I know. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. Yes, Lovely. Evening, oh, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Yes. Did you manage to get the stove working? Uh, well, we are, are familiar with electrical and gas appliances. Thank you. She knows all about appliances. She's got a catalogue. What? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, sir. Yes, thank, thank you, dear. Well, I do love a volivant, dear, don't you? I think I've got time to mess around and argue. We've got other things for me. Love, <laughs> <laughs> girl. What's here? Let's give them ulcers. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, a moose? I'm Whitney the reindeer. <laughs> what or who are you? I'm Weird the warrior. Sounds more like a magic mushroom. I don't have to take that from a dog with a thyroid crust. <laughs> Eat your heart 
out you're so butch, dear. Well, you don't call me Big Dyke for nothing. Oh. There, 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 Bambi. Would you like one of these little volivants or is your jaw wired up? Well, yes, but not to stop me eating. I don't believe this, Polly. I'm talking to a hat stand. <laughs> it is so nice to be with friends for the holidays. It's so good to see you, baby. But Leah, won't you miss your family? At family, Pad, don't you know? Like in Kansas, where I grew up, where we used to sleep under the tree and wait for Santa Claus to come. And you know what? We never saw Santa Claus. But in the morning, we'd wake up and there'd be tons of presents. And we'd get up and we'd have turkey and we'd have mashed potatoes and pecan pie. And Well, where did you spend your Christmases? Peterborough. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll recapture all of that magic, shall we? Why don't you come in and share the fun? Hi there, Justin. How you doing? How you like the tree? Oh, it's not bad for a footballer. <laughs> where's Derek? Yeah, where's Derek and Simon? Hi, oh, 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 behind you. Woo! Making crackers. Crackers and presents. We are crackers. Jokes on the crackers. Jokes on the crackers. Have you heard about the gay pope who was simply divine? <laughs> How many gay men does it take to change a light bulb? Don't let's talk about the light bulb, honey. Let's talk about the shade. <laughs> What's the worst present you can give a lesbian for Christmas? I don't know. Martina's phone number with one digit wrong. <laughs> Oi, don't do that. It, it's a gas fire, not a real one. <laughs> You'll block up my shoot. <laughs> and, and which of Santa's reindeer are, uh, were you? Oh, well, my name's Whitney. <laughs> And I'm the provocative one. <laughs> too gorgeous to stay in line, too dangerous for the image of the firm. I was, uh, I was thrown out because the jingle of my nipple clamps interfered with the sleigh bells. <laughs> so here Camp Christmas. Later on, we'll conspire as we dream. 